YouTube, it's your man's Veracity TT, and we about to install FL and use it as a plugin in Pro Tools. And I'm gonna show you guys, you know, how I use it in the best practices. So first thing we're gonna do, and this is a step that you can use for any DAW that works. It also works inside of Studio One. It also works inside of Logic. You know, any DAW that can still use VST or AU. First thing, I'm gonna just go here to my downloads and I'm gonna find FL. And I'm gonna click on it so I can install it. Read your licenses. <laughs> there used to be an option that will ask you um if you wanted to install fl studio as a plugin it's like something you had to check in but i don't see it anymore right now um yeah so let's keep going so now the next thing you want to make sure you have installed it's called ddmf made a plugin so these these are the developers that created plugin doctor so if you ever seen plugin doctor and, and that being used these are the same developers let's check their products out right quick real fast so this is the plugin that we're going to use right here this ddmf made a plugin literally you can build your own plugin out of all of your favorite plugins and it has an over sampling feature so i'm gonna let uh we're going to check that out and this is how i run fl studio with inside pro tools okay yeah see they make plugin doctor you see what i'm saying so yeah so we on version 4.3.1 let's download that so yeah i'm just going to use the pro tools intro version just to show you guys how this work to make sure everything is compatible all right all right so mind you this don't work in in any version of pro tools that isn't m1 keep that in mind so if you're on the m1 and you know you then moved on m2 m3 this should work for you all right that install real quick i don't install vst anymore i just install au as asx and vst3 and it's getting to the point real soon where i'm going to actually stop installing au plugins because i don't really use logic so Anybody else get to doing stuff like that when they <laughs> waiting? Uh, man, I done made a whole beat of it. Come on now. Y'all got to be quicker than that. No, nah, it's not bad because Pro Tools is fire. All right, so we in here. First thing we're going to do, let's create a track. We're going to create a stereo track. And we're going to create a instrument track, okay? right then we're going to make let's make a let's make two audio tracks yeah <clears throat> all right now first thing we're going to do for this we're going to come down you're going to look for ddml and then you'll find it right there this is the plugin. So you want to use the synth since we're on the instrument track. The DDMF made a plugin. This version is for audio tracks and if you're going to use like effects and things of that nature. But since we're using the VST instrument, because that is the format that FL is showing up in, it's showing up as a VST instrument or AU instrument. We're going to use the synth version. All right. So now this is where you basically scan for all your vsts and all your plugins so you go through that process i've already done it so i'll just type fl in the box here so there you can see fl and you see the vsti or the au um since we're on the mac i'm going to use the au version okay just drag and drop it so now you see all of these lines these are the lines that's important for now, we're not going to be using this MIDI. We're not really focused on this because all we're doing is routing audio. So this is what you do. You literally have to take your time and drag and drop these channel one left and right. Bam. And then channels two left and right. You got it. 
Oh, hold on so you can see. There you go. So that's how you do it, but we're not going to spend time doing that because I've already done it and I saved myself a preset. So in order to save a preset, just go over here. Once you're done setting this up, then you just click save preset, name it, and then it'll show up here. So what I'm going to do is just click on this one that I already made where this is done. Okay. I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. All right. So you can see that basically I already have this set up and I do have this MIDI input going in here. All right. So if you do have a keyboard inside of Pro Tools, you can maybe trigger certain things going inside of FL, but I don't know how glitchy or how stable that is. So we're not even going to go into that. We're just going to use audio. Okay. All right. So we got that set up. Next thing we want to do is before we even do anything inside of FL, I'm going to come here and we're going to go um, <clears throat> input and see we're already there and this plugin has already created the buses so just for example we're going to use 15 here and we're going to use 16 here okay so we got 15 and 16 and you'll see what that's referring to inside of fl let's load something All right, so here we are in FL, right? <clears throat> so remember in Pro Tools, when I just showed you those 15 and 16, that's referring to 15 and 16 here. So inside of FL, since we're running it as a plugin, these are the only outs that it has available, right? So you can choose whatever tracks that you want to go to any one of these outs. And that's literally what you basically match inside of Pro Tools, okay? So for instance, I probably want my master to go out, right? So you see how my master is going out on channel one. Let's put it on channel 16. I want my master to go there. Um, and let's just say I didn't want my master. So really how I would do this, let's put this back on none, right? We don't want the master going to anything. Let's just say we want the drums going to 15 and the music the melodies going to 16 right drums and melody so now if you're using fl and you're using a free version of pro tools look at the possibilities right pro tools limit you with how many tracks you can use right if you use and create all of your projects and your beats inside of fl all you really need to do after this is just literally route out one or two tracks and you can literally do your vocals inside of pro tools right so this is a use case for that another use case for this would be just if you prefer mixing inside of pro tools you can literally set up your tracks up to 16 tracks one to one so like for instance i wouldn't waste a track by making the bass and the kick on separate channels i will probably put this on one channel going inside of pro tools so i will put the bass let's say on fl1 and i will put the kick on fl1 why because they are going to be mono signals so they don't need to be put on separate tracks as for like a stereo signal for instance this could be labeled up under bass get it so that's kind of how i would do it like instead of making like the snare and the clap and the hi-hats on separate channels unless you specifically need that you can literally route these all to the same one channel six channel six channel six channel six and then inside of pro tools we're going to label that drums that's all you really doing so let's uh put this into actual practice here so i'm gonna put these two back on none so remember right now the only thing that i have going out to pro tools is on channel 16 and channel 15 and that is going to be drums and melody okay those are the only things that are going to be going out into pro tools so let's get up out of here now just gonna exit all right, so I just use one of the Mac commands to show all windows to get me here. Now, once we're in here, like you see, I set it up to where I went to the plugin, the made a plugin synth, and I went to channel 15 and 16. You're gonna arm these because you're gonna record them. So let's say once you're done in FL Studio, you arm those tracks, hit record. But before you do that, also I want to mention, I can, you can right click up here, put the tempo, 
and you can make the tempo the correct tempo. I'm gonna do that now. One, six, three. Let's go look in FL real fast. Make sure that's aligned with everything. Okay, it's not. One, six, three. Stretch, yes. Okay, I'm gonna exit out of this now. There we go. All right, put this right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna record. Bam, that's the literally the melody and the drums, right? That's all I wanted from FL. That's how you do it. And then once you get the tracks that you want in here, you can do your mixing and you know whatever you like doing inside of Pro Tools. But let's add one more channel for the bass. Let's get the bass out. This literally all you got to do. And to save tracks, because I'm using a free version of Pro Tools right now, for example, to save tracks, you don't have to let it out like this. You can literally only use one track for your whole beat if you want, like a two track. But you actually can go in here and mix your beat. Instead of trying to mix it all in Pro Tools, you can mix your beat inside of FL where you made it at and then route it inside of here while you're doing the rest of your vocals and stuff like that. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all got to get creative. This software, you know... It's the possibilities get endless. Let's find the bass. Okay, that grows the bass. Let's put the bass on channel 14, right? Channel 14 for the bass. And we're going to go back out to here and we're going to arm that that's on 14 that's on 16 that's on 15 all right let's run it again and let's get the bass in there this time One thing to keep in mind, I am recording this dry. It is not capturing my reverb and stuff like that. So just to give y'all context, my beat don't actually sound like that because I plan on using the reverb and the delay and the different effects that I use. I really want to use that with the song. Like instead of using separate reverbs, this reverb for that beat, da da da. I usually when I make the beat for the song that I'm using or that the artist is using and we have the whole track out, I usually create my own reverb and stuff so everything can sound like one place, one unit, unless we have a special sound that just needs something special other than what's there. But other than that, you know, I call that production and not mixing. So with mixing, yes, I want all of that and my sins to be in one space. So that's why I'm recording it dry like this without including the effects. But if you wanted to include the effects in this process, for instance. All right. See, so I just rerouted basically my sins to go to the tracks that we're recording. All right. So now let's let's uh, go back to FL. I mean, to Pro Tools and let's re-record this. And let's see, because right now it sounds dry.
right. So y'all can see now it, it has been recorded with the, you know, the sands. Yeah, 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 yeah.